Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Grimwit. This is Miasmata. I got this strange, fleshy, pulpy fruit thing. Looks like some kind of eggplant. Now that I've got it, I got a little bit of a problem, though. How do I get down? I'm at least 81% sure this is what the owl was staring at. It is right there. The owl should be down there. So, yeah. Like a cat up a tree, we're going to have a little trouble gently getting downwards. Maybe there's a way this way? There is not a way this way. The grass is a good indication of where the safe spots are. But it's not 100% foolproof. Some grass grows on the side of a cliff, and sometimes you'll see a safe area that has no grass. But usually, it's a good uh, indication. Whoa. If I can make a couple of prophecies so you can get ready for the upcoming mess. Today we're going to do a scientific experiment involving water. And we're also going to get a nice good look at our friend. Okay. Okay, so here's my thoughts. Maybe if I run sideways fast enough, I can... Just about... Oh, shit! Okay, when you fall and you're holding something, you drop what you're holding, but it doesn't just disappear. You can find it again. So here comes the next experiment. Oh. Um. Didn't, didn't plan on running into you. We'll just grab you. How long can I go without taking any medicine? The effects of a fever is that as you're walking around, running around, whatever, you occasionally get dizzy. I just fast forwarded to the point where, yeah, you lose a mild amount of control, you start coughing, and things get blurry. You can also tell by the tent at the corner. And honestly, I don't know. I've never died of fever. Muscle emphasis drug. And some kind of Hercules tonic. Both have to do with improving our bold, manly muscles. Put that away. I don't... Do I really need two medicines for this? Well. I do need to replenish my medicine. Both of them, really. And we might as well see what this Herculean tonic is as well. Okay, it improves our strength. So what does strength do? Well, strength allows us to swim. The stronger we are, the longer we can swim.
There's another unfortunate side effect of even having the Herculean tonic, which is going to become a little annoying over this and the next two episodes. Let's start a fire. Faseya made a request. What happens if we swim without any kind of enhancement? Oh, oh. Well, we're starting to drown. Press H to learn more. Okay, well, we made it to the other side, and that's good. And that's a dangerous, dangerous water. I guess while we're here, we might as well see if there's any plants in this miniature island. Soon enough, maybe next episode? Not sure. But soon enough, we won't have to worry about drowning. So we might as well show it off now. Nice, gorgeous evening? Morning? Hmm, how did I get up here? Ah, the indication of safe landing. Whoop. Almost. Well, I got myself on this island. I might as well swim it out. Oh, oh god. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. You know what? Actually, this swimming thing's not so bad. I'll just swim a little bit more this way. I'm sure it'll be... Oh god. It's important to note that you get an achievement for every time you die in a specific way. All right, now that we're awake, alive, and it's morning, let's take a nice sip of water and continue on our journey. Inventory management, inventory management. I'm trying to work out where my route's gonna be. And I think I'm gonna take the same path I did before and climb up those steps. Hopefully that should lead us around to this camp right here. And eventually that'll lead to Outpost Dow. Right about here. Do you see that little tag clipping through the paper on the left side? As I'm checking this route out, I didn't notice it. Oh, it's not a picnic without ants. That little tag for the Herculean tonic clips through the book. Every time. Every page. Unless you're pointing at a specific way. It's very annoying. With the Endurance Emphasis drug, we can now run for a longer period of time without tripping over our own feet. I think I showed that off second episode. Well, we don't have to worry that, about that. So we can just run and run and run.
Here's where we turned and climbed up, but we're gonna pass these rocks. Um, is that what I... Oh. Well, you know, I said I was gonna show off our friend here. Let's get a closer look at this guy. I think his name is Milo. I present for your entertainment. Say, he can see me. The creature. And yes, he can just hit me through the tree. Well, now we have a fever, which means we're down to one hit point. Robert Hughes only has two hit points. That also makes running for our life very difficult. Oh, hi. So a couple of things about Milo. Never turn your back to him like I am right now. Because when he's not caught up on the geometry... Excuse me a second, I just need to take this medicine. Thank you, creature. When he's not screwed up on the geometry, he runs faster when you're not looking at him. The best thing to do is to hide in the forest and then hide in the grass. Oh yeah, and don't move when he's near, or he'll just spot you like he is now. Well, this is a fine kettle of fish. Honestly, the best way to deal with the creature is to really not get near him to begin with. Can you fight him off with knife or branch or torch? No. Will he be deterred by throwing things at him? No. These things barely stun him and give you a chance to run the hell away. Ah, oh, crap, he sees me. Well, it was nice knowing you. And of course, whenever we die, it immediately spawns you when and where you last saved. So it's morning. We're not going to go that way anymore. We're going to go this way. you hmm. I keep thinking I've collected that mushroom but have I greenish shelf mush I gotta get it out of my mind all right you haven't guessed, these are the cliffs that I was searching for about an episode ago. Pinpoint exactly where we are. Maybe. Um, some trees are in the way of the other head. Oop, no, I can just barely... There we go. Ah, so it feels like cheating. Don't care. Yeah, you're gonna see me crouching a lot more now that I've become paranoid of the creature. I think I've mentioned he doesn't stand too much of a threat if you're careful. He does make you anxious, though.
Uh oh. Well, first, let's find a good spot to hide. This is a terrible spot to hide. And then we let our natural senses aim us at the creature. And then we wait. You have two choices at this point. My heart's not beating yet. Fast forward a little bit. You can either wait for him to show up, so you at least get an idea where he is. As long as the symbol remains white, he's not a threat. Well, unless he saw where you hid, or he can hear you rumbling around in the grass. But once the heartbeat stops, he's far enough away so that you could conceivably just escape. Now, I was here for, like, five minutes. And I decided to try and escape at this point because he was not going away. Of course, he can hear me. Alright, time to get the hell out of here. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Robert Hughes is not Garrett from Thief. <laughs> He's about as stealthy as an elephant in a bubble wrap factory. Well, that didn't work, damn it. So, different defense. We can try stabbing him with a knife. Yeah, the creature doesn't care. So when he's pointing in the other direction, we run the hell away. Try to head towards the woods to give his AI some trouble. And then we wait again, see where he's going. I'm going to call this a good time to just get the hell out. If you've seen the Langoliers, then you know there's a difference between running away and scampering. Do not scamper. Oh! We made it to the... to the camp. Awesome. That also might be a reason we, why he didn't come so close. Camps are a safe spot. Even if he does come to get you, he gets caught up in the geometry. This particular camp has no note, which makes me sad in my sad hole. But it does bring us very close to Outpost Tau. Hmm, we need to arm ourselves. Yes. I don't think I have any of this place mapped. Nope, I do. And I can find out exactly where we are. Not real sure why I'm doing this. In fact, I should just stop. God, this place is pretty. Ideally, I should be following the trail, but... What's the fun in that? No monsters around. Around here is also an owl I wanted to show off, but... Alright. It's not that far to outpost down now. So 
some signs of civilization. This is a good thing. At this rock we have a fork, but we're going to take the high road. There it is. I'll explain more about it next episode, but we made it to the next outpost. It's an elaborate place too, and I apparently missed the door for this place. How do I get in? Oh, there we go. We'll save and then call this an episode. Stay tranquil, everyone. <laughs>